So first things first, it feels great to be back. And we're gonna start things off with the Samsung Galaxy J7 crown. Stay tuned. So let's get things started with telling you guys how I got the phone. And I got it on Amazon for 40 bucks, which is pretty much half the price of what I've seen it at before, if not a little bit less than that. Now this is just pretty much a bigger version of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit, a device that I reviewed early on in 2019. Happy 2020 to everybody. Early on in 2019, and it's just pretty much, like I said, a bigger version. It has better cameras on the rear and a better camera on the front. And it has a little bit bigger of a screen, but everything else is pretty much similar. But this device in particular here, the Samsung Galaxy J7 Crown, has two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. It's gonna be running the Samsung Exynos 7885, which is an octa-core CPU that is clocked at 1.59 gigahertz. And the device is also gonna be running Android 9 Pi. So the fact that it's running Android 9 Pi is 40 bucks, 13 megapixel camera on the rear, the front, of course, you get a micro USB charging port. You get a headphone jack, which is a positive. This is a device that does have pretty big bezels. So if you're one of those people who do not like bezels whatsoever, stay away from the J7 Crown. With the device having that Samsung Exynos CPU in it, it's a pretty snappy phone. And the Exynos CPUs have always been really good in my opinion. It has about 268 pixels per inch. Now this display is not emulated, but it looks like it. Meaning like it's a very, very vibrant display, but uh, it's not rated at AMOLED. So that's a big deal for you and you're a Samsung lover. Stay away from the J7 crown. As I said, the camera's 13 megapixel on the front and back. Takes really, really good pictures. They're pretty decent. It's actually not too bad at night as well. Uh, surprisingly pretty good for the budget phone. You gotta like give it to it. It shoots video or records video in 1080p, 30 frames per second. So you can get some pretty Decent video on this phone here. Cool little things about this device, which are similar, like I said, to the J3 Orbit, a smaller version of it. The speaker cutout is the same. So as you can see on the side of the device here, you get a speaker cutout. It's a good thing to have it up there because if you're the type to play music, you probably won't cover that speaker grill. So I think that's a great place to put it. And I think another thing that Samsung should consider doing to change you know, the market up a little bit or change the game up, is put a speaker on the other side. So I have two up there. Why not? It won't hurt anything. And your Samsung, you can get it done. And then powering up this phone is a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. A pretty big battery for a display to 720p. It's gonna last a pretty long time throughout the day. Multimedia experience, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix, Disney Plus, all those streaming services work good. Navigation, everything was good. It works as if uh, every modern phone should work. If you want a case for it, if you want a screen protector, or if you want to buy the phone in general, the link will be in the description below. Below. So we got positives and negatives with this device here. So on the positive side, we do have a pretty big screen on it. We get pretty decent cameras on the front and rear. You're gonna be running Android 9. Not the latest Android software, but better than running Android O. One negative about the Samsung Galaxy J7 micro USB. It's the one thing. It's more than that, but that's the major thing right there. Unlocking this phone if you want to use it face on lock. I don't really recommend it, but it is on this phone in case you do want to use it. And um, I think that's pretty much it for the Samsung Galaxy J7 as far as first impressions. So Matt Squad in the comments section below. Do you guys like the Samsung Galaxy J7 Crown? Is it worth it in your opinion? If you have one, would you ever consider getting one now? Being that it's gonna be a little bit cheaper? Let me know in the comment section below. But be sure to share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces.